Well, thank you. You know, when you're filming it, I definitely got to a place where I definitely thought it was going to go a different way, but I just didn't care because I just got so fed up and I was like, everybody's going to hate me. I cannot deal with this anymore. And I'm going to tell her exactly how I'm feeling and not care about any of the cameras. And I think that came across. (laughs) But that being said, I think the reverse ends up happening the audience can see what is real and what isn't. Because at the end of the day, I mean, if she had a point, we never got to it. So I really do feel like, you know, from my point of view, she came in with a plan and it wasn't going her way because I was calling her out on the fact that she wasn't making any points. So it feels good. It feels good because I really did feel like the audience, I was going to lose them and I just didn't care anymore. And I, because I, I just felt like she was making me go insane, kind of gaslighting and everything. And so it is really nice to have spoken my mind and also have people have seen through, you know, what I feel like was the BS that I was dealing with. Do you wish you spoke your mind a little earlier? (laughs) Well, I think I I don't mind that part of my personality. I do have a long fuse. But by the time I get to a certain point, it's like, you know what, if you're going to if you're going to take it there. There's a saying, you know, they go low, we go high. You know what? God's still working on me. So if after my fuse is done, you go low and I'm going to take us to hell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's go. 